Now, I'm going to create a table. You can use capital or lowercase, it does not matter, um, except when you create a table. So let's say I want to create a table called employee. Create table employee. I'll give it a staff number. So we have a bear care five. Bear care is pretty much a string. It's up to, but you're saying it's never going to be more than five characters. Now, staff number could have been an integer. In this case, it's a string, um, something like F12254, whatever, something F1224 would be a string of five characters. So that's what it is here. Ah, so let's see, we have last name. And last name, I'm going to use 15. Um, hopefully, nobody has last name greater than 15 characters. Otherwise, it will be cut off. And let's do, right, let's do it on the next line. Do line it up. Salary. Salary, I'm using as a decimal value. Decimal. Now, decimal takes two numbers in the parentheses. The first one represents the number this one number the number of digits total and the last number the second number that you pass in represents the number of digits after the decimal after the, the dot so if you have a number like 100.50 that would be five digits at most if you could never go over 100.50 so it'd be five digits and two digits after the decimal okay let's create see if it worked go yes so now, if we look on the side, I have an employee table, and I have a staff number, last name, and salary. Let's go back to my SQL tab, and I want to insert rows. Right now, we have no rows. Insert into employee. Employee, the table name is the only thing that's case sensitive. Values SG16, that's my staff number. Brown is my last name. Not my last name, but my employee's last name, and 8,300 is their salary. Insert, go, and it worked. If we go to the employee table, we can see SG16, brown, 8,300. Another way to do it is with SQL. You could do select star from employee. This would give you all all, all the rows and all the columns and everything. Star is the default. Um, star just means instead of having to write select staff number, last name, salary, you can just write select star. It will select everything. Um, I could also use a weird condition. So if I do select star from employee, where salary is greater than 10,000. So how many, how many rows do you think are going to come up? Nothing. It's an empty result set. Why is that? Am I fooling you? Because if we go back to the salary, the salary was 8,300. 8,300 is not greater than 10,000. So let's say I did greater than 7,000. Now, how many rows do you think will appear? Our row. So that is a little bit on how you use SQL.